Angie, you yes. know why they're interviewing you. Why? Because why? you are definitely what, one of the top five hottest women on Big Brother oh ever. Oh my God, did you see that joke? Were you? That is why Kevin, who I thought was gay up until he requested you for this interview, wanted to have you on here. Kevin's birthday is today. I know that? it's Kevin's birthday. Kevin is so hot for 21. It's so amazing. Like he's looking at the camera right now for and he's 21. so hot. Kevin, if you're 21, then when we hooked up, you were under I'm you were so under 18. I'm so digging him right now. What he's so f- hot. So, so since you're interested in dating Kevin, you might not get that because uh, I'm not Kevin, gonna no. Yeah, he, Kevin doesn't like girls. He doesn't like girls. No, not like that. No. I mean, he likes girls. Oh, I mean, if he so, hangs around with Lydia. No. Angie's single, guys. Single. single. Match.com. And what? let me tell you, first of all, in my entire life, I have been beaten twice chugging a beer. Once. By the way. was seriously by a drunken Irishman. Second time ever, this girl right here, barely. Oh my God, totally, not, barely. Barely. Dude, I beat you like you're my fucking redheaded slut bag. Are you kidding me right now? I, I just... Angie just said that she beat me like I was her red-headed slut bag. I, When's the last time you beat your red-headed slut bag? Um, and well, it was, who it, is your it red-headed was, slut bag? It was bag? when I beat you with an Irish car bomb. Oh, that's right. It was a car oh bomb. Oh, my God. Oh, my bad. I will beat you again tonight. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to reenact this challenge in a few moments. And I'm going to crush her. When in Rome. L.A. Your legs are girl yeah, can I get that angle? <laughs> All right, so Angie, what have yeah. you been up to since you left the Big Brother oh 10 house? Oh, my God. Is that this is the interview? What, do you, what have you been up to, James? <laughs> well, we're not talking about me. We're talking about you first. Oh, we're talking about me? We're talking about you. You're the interview. I have been e. living the dream of awesomeness. Obviously, I, um, you uh, woke up from that dream. I, I, <laughs> by the way, this guy right here, <laughs> he's gone. He's so mad that I beat him chugging a Irish car bomb that he cannot even, like, focus. That was like that was so long ago. That was when we were both relevant. Oh, I know. People, people are watching. Hey, I was relevant. If you, if you like, don't know who either one of us are, yeah, I, yeah. you're smart. <laughs> but um, but at least it'll be entertaining to have two people that are drunk doing this film. I'm not drunk. <laughs> wow, and that you're acting like that? You might want to say you wow. are. What? Wow. Oh. Nice. Um, so Angie, where are you living now? Not the exact In address, Florida. but in Florida. What are you doing? Um, I do medical sales. Medical sales. So you're making good money, guys. I was actually be able to get a job after the show. Okay. One of the few that have been able to get a job after the show and keep it. And keep it. That's impressive. You know what? Awesomeville. Now, you had a little showmance, didn't you? No. Oh, that's right. Never mind. No. Never mind. No, I'm talking about after the show. Never mind. I was going to get updates on that for the fans, but we won't bring that up. Shh. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm wondering what is going on. Um, let me see. Well, you know, yeah. Anyways. Hey, right, so, so anyway, so this is, James has been living in Chicago. What are you doing now? I was living in Chicago, lived in LA, lived in New Zealand. What are you all living over. now? Still living in Chicago. Chicago. So yep. when I said you were living in Chicago, you said, said yes, I am, but I still lived in all these other places. Yes, I should have. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, before we bore you to death, I am living in Chicago. Okay. I am hosting a show out there. What show is it? It is called Three Guys in a Booth. Three yes. Guys in a Booth. Yes. What is it? What is it about? It's like The View, but without fat people. Is that picked up somewhere? Yeah, we actually um, we are getting picked up by a network. All really? The, yeah, all the contracts are uh, getting locked down right now, so we're not allowed to say which network because it's still paperwork's getting signed. But yeah, things are going really Have you guys well. Ever seen- the WV. Yeah, no. It's actually one of the major networks, so we're really excited about it. I'm really excited. It helps that one of my co-hosts used to play for the Chicago Bears. Oh. Uh-huh. So that helps us. But um, really? yeah, we're losing someone. We're losing Ooh. one of our hosts, so now we're going to be holding auditions. And I was actually thinking about bringing in Jeff. It's three guys in a booth. I'll put, I'll put a wig on. You totally need a girl that acts like a dude. We've actually had a couple different girl guests. April Rose, who was on the first cover of Canada's Maxim, who's actually in Vegas this weekend, who will be partying with us. And then I wrote two scripts that got picked up, and we're in the process of getting one of them funded. You wrote funded. two scripts? Yep. At the same time? No, one first now. Most talented person I have ever met in my entire well, life. Here's the thing. I realized I had like this devious, de- devious mind. Evil? Did I say devious? Yes. This did. evil, devious mind, and you I did. wanted to kind of... I needed to find an outlet for it. <laughs> so I pitched one of my ideas to a um, little producer friend, and they loved it. And we just started to run with it. And if we get... Um, 
There was a meeting today actually in LA about the financing. So yes. <laughs> How that works? As yes. I go. <laughs> Can we just hurry up and get to the, the chugging contest? I can whoop her motherfucking ass. Whatever. All right, if you want to get a hold of me, you can't because most of you fuckers are crazy. Um, if you want to get a hold of Angie, her phone number is 560. I'm kidding. I don't have a number. No, 444, um, forget it. Are you on Twitter or Facebook no. or anything like that? I, I, I don't even do that. What? You can, hey. you can follow me on Twitter at James Ryan, just at James Ryan, R H I N E. Because he's big time. I'm only fun during the Big Brother season. Was that? No, I don't. Oh, I don't Twitter. I'm, a, I, I'm tweet. so sorry. I don't even know how to tweet. She twats. I don't even she know how to tweet. tweet. I twat. I twat. Ah, bye bye. I love me some Kevin. Happy birthday.